uh, there uh, might be a desire to uh, not see uh, the um, uh, output from the print statements uh, so um, it is useful to find a way to uh, turn on and off uh, uh, these print statements uh, as wished um, as needed and a way to do this is to add um, an additional uh, boolean uh, debugging field and then uh, replace the print statement uh, with a preceding um, control um, with a preceding if statement like this uh, another uh, economical variation on this theme uh, is to uh, just put uh, the debugging uh, um, the if statement with the check on debugging uh, in a separate uh, method um, that uh, lets uh, the, the class print uh, the, these, uh, these print statements only when debugging is true. So Print debugging will be uh, this new method. So it will look like this, and it assumes that uh, report state uh, either uh, it also uh, checks the debugging flag uh, or uh, also uh, report state uh, calls print debugging. Uh, then uh, there is uh, uh, a possibility to uh, put this. Um, um, thing to t uh, turn on and turn off uh, uh, the print statements into a specialized debugging class and uh, to, uh, there is um, uh, some practice that uh, needs to be learned in order to um, um, print the 
right amount of information and uh, usually in practice uh, uh, these uh, print statements are used for debugging uh, when uh, uh, the uh, area um, of uh, where the error is uh, suspected to occur uh, is roughly known so that uh, these uh, print statements are not added to each method but only to those that uh, uh, are suspected of an error.